Hi there and welcome to this short video walkthrough where I have the pleasure of showing you some new and exciting functionality that we've recently added to Sage One Payroll that will help your business get ready and prepared for a new legislative change called automatic enrolment. So some of you might be thinking what exactly is automatic enrolment? Automatic enrolment is a new legislative reform put in place by the government to really help employees start getting themselves set up and ready for their retirement aspirations. What that means for you as a business is that you will need to start making a provision of a workplace pension scheme. You will also need to carry out assessment of your workforce to determine certain criteria and whether or not an employee needs to be automatically enrolled into the pension scheme that you're providing for them, whilst on also maintaining ongoing pension contributions and contributing to that pension scheme as an employer, as well as working with and communicating effectively with pension providers. So let's show you what some of the functionality that we've added. So when you log into Sage One Payroll now, to the right hand side of the bottom here, we've got a new auto enrollment stroke pensions pod. And in here, we're giving you some information about what automatic enrollment is. So the first thing you need to do is understand when your business needs to start staging with automatic enrollment or start complying with it. You can do this quite quickly by clicking the staging date link here. What this does is it takes you to the pensions regulator website where you can enter your PAY reference and it will tell you when you need to start staging with auto enrollment. Once you know that, what you can do is you can quite quickly type into the staging date box here the date that your business starts staging. So let's make it the 1st of August 2015 and let's set that staging date. So what Sage One Payroll does is give you some informative information there about what it is, as well as linking off to various help articles. But you can see now that this auto enrolment pensions pod has changed slightly. So once you put in your staging date, you've got a nice little countdown there until you need to understand when you need to get ready for auto enrolment. The pension regulator recommends that you spend 9 to 12 months before your business starts staging to get ready for automatic enrolment and this is what this functionality is here to help you with. So let's click the prepare for auto enrolment button here. So what we've done is we've introduced four steps to help your business get ready for auto enrolment. So step one, what you need to do is nominate a pensions contact. So you need to inform the pensions regulator of who that is. So you can do that by clicking the pensions regulator website link there. From the pensions regulator website, you can run through a wizard to inform them who within your business is going to be as accountable or responsible for automatic enrolment. Once you've done that, all you need to do is tick the box to say that you've nominated that and that's that step complete. The second step is to carry out an initial assessment of your workforce. What this will do is determine or give you an indication of which employees need to be enrolled automatically into a workplace pension scheme. To do that, you just click the Assess Workforce button. And by doing that straight away, based upon the age of the employee and the earnings, it will determine the worker category. Anybody that is eligible or an eligible job holder must be automatically enrolled into that pension scheme. So let's go back and say that we've completed this step. Step three, what we also do is help you talk about and understand reviewing your pension arrangements. Here, what we do have is links off to three particular pension providers that are going to be specifically there to help smaller sized businesses like yourself. So you've got the government's nominated NEST, i.e. the National Employer Savings Trust, got now pensions and people Pre pensions by clicking each of the links we will take you off to those relevant pension providers so that you can get information about what type of pension schemes that they offer and you can choose which is best for your business what's important to understand here that although we have these links here sage can't be seen to endorse recommend or support any of these pension schemes you as a business have to make that mind up yourselves so once you know who you're going to be choosing for your pension, you can add that pension provider. So at the moment, we are supporting the Nest, the Now and the People's Pension. 
as well as enabling you to add your own pension depending upon the pension provider that you've selected. So I've already set one up under the name of a pension provider. And it's here you can enter information that's relevant to your pension provider, as well as setting up the pension contributions. So in this example here, we've got a GPP, a group personal pension, where you can determine whether it's a percentage scheme or a fixed amount, enter the employer and employee contributions amounts, as well as determining how the calculation is carried out, whether that's based upon pensionable pay, qualifying earnings, or customised earnings. You can also determine whether it's deducted before tax and when the payment needs to be made. And more importantly, you can determine whether it's the default plan. This is really important because once you've met your staging date within Sage One Payroll, what we'll automatically do is anybody that's an eligible employee, we will apply that pension scheme to that employee for you without any need for you to do anything. So let's save that. Okay, once you've then sorted out your pension schemes and ticked that, you can see there that we've completed that step. The fourth step in helping you get ready for pension reform is about communicating to your employee what these changes mean to them. So there's a couple of ways that you can do that within the software. You can either choose to generate the pension letter templates from the pensions regulator website by using that hyperlink there. Or alternatively, what you can do is you can enable Sage One Payroll to do it for you. So for example, if we look at Nelson Weeds here, we can produce a letter that you can either print that informs them about our enrolment, or alternatively, email to them directly. And when you click send emails, it will send that employee that email. You can do that on an individual basis, or you can do that for everybody at one click of a button. And that's the auto enrollment functionality that we're helping you with with staging at this point in time. We'll also continue to be working hard around auto enrollment with some post-staging functionality that will really help you with automatic enrollment. So with Sage One Payroll, we're help here to help you prepare for auto enrollment. We want to help you communicate effectively with your employees and work better with your pen pension provider. With Sage One Payroll, you can have the confidence that we're with you all the way. We'll help you inform and tell you about what auto enrollment is. We'll help educate you and we'll support you as well. So don't forget, we've got that free 24-7 telephone and email support helpline 365 days a year. And that ends the conclusion of this presentation here. So thank you for listening.